Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to play with some scraps today. I like to use up my scraps as much as I can and as fast as I can. That way they don't get to be such a huge bundle. Now, a lot of these papers, I have no idea where they come from. Some of these were Melina's scraps that she sent over, and I've been playing around with them. I love this one, but I don't know where it comes from, so sorry about that. I know somebody's going to ask. So what I'm going to make today is some tiny journals to go inside a larger journal. I like to have those little notebook type things to go inside my larger journals, like on a belly band or something. And I noticed yesterday when I was putting uh, putting some stuff in a journal that I didn't have any. I didn't have any left. I'm out completely. So I am going to use this, and I'm just going to use up a lot of my scraps doing this. Now we may not add pages to but one, but we're going to make lots of covers, and then I can add pages later. Uh, I'm trying to decide how big I want it. I know I don't want it that tall, but I'm going to go ahead and fold it. We can just cut off the excess tear off the excess whatever and I'm going to use my tear ruler a lot and that way I can just tear things and I don't have to pull out my trimmer every time I like the torn look anyway okay and then we can use this one for a smaller one so lay that aside now this is way too tall of course because this is almost nine inches and we don't want our little notebooks that tall so I am going to cut this down to five, I think. Yeah, I think five on this one. And then we'll still have a smaller one. So you can make them all different sizes, whatever size your scraps are. Okay, so see that will be another one. So we got this one. So that's the basis of your first little notebook. Now I am going to put some little pockets in the front and back of mine just to put extra ephemera and things in. So you don't have to do that. I just kind of like to and I don't think I'm going to use that paper because I want to use it to make another little journal. So let's see what we will use to go here. What about let's mix the papers up a little bit. Let's use this pink on the inside that'll work and again i don't know where this paper came from <laughs> um sometimes melina will send if she has lots of extra paper and scraps and things she'll send some over here and sometimes i'll make bundles out of them and and let you guys get a chance at them but uh, this time there wasn't but a few sheets like this so most of them were solid sheets. So I just went ahead and put those in the store for you. So if you're looking for some beautiful paper, you can go in the store. And I've got some really pretty paper in there from Melina. I think I'm going to have to trim this bottom off. Even though I didn't want to. Because when I tore, I tore it a little bit crooked. But there's like packs of uh, 20, and they're very inexpensive, and they're beautiful papers. 12 by 12. Um, we're clearing out our stash and trying to get rid of some things that we don't use and let somebody else use them. You know, when you've been in business as long as we have and been doing this for 20, almost 25 years, then you collect up a lot of things. Some of the things you use over and over, some things you don't use over and over. So it's just one of those, one of those things. And then too, I get sent some things, you know, sometimes for me to do little, they ask me to do demos on them or review them or something like that. And if it's not something that I have requested to do or agreed to do a demo on, I don't do the demo. So, i got a lot of that stuff, too. Now, I don't think this has an up or a down, but I'm going to put it that way. Okay, so we're going to put that down just like that. So 
I'm just gonna glue on the sides. Yeah, so I, I was talking to Melina the other day, right before, well, right before the new year, actually, and I said, we've got so much stuff in the warehouse, we just need to clear it out. And she said, yeah, I, I agree. I said, there's things out there that I haven't used in, you know, a year, six months. And if I don't use it in that length of time, then it's time for it to go to a new home. Because there's only so many things that you can use. I must have left my glue open a little bit too long. I'm going to have to wash my little dauber thing in. Oh, I should have punched my little pulls up there, but oh well. I may not even punch them. Alright, I am going to... Now, I'm going to do these uh, quite a few different ways, so don't think, don't cut the video off and think, oh, I've seen that a dozen times, because some of these you probably haven't. <laughs> uh, some of these I've never done, and I don't know if anybody else has either I haven't seen it anywhere okay now when we stitch our signature in it'll pull that down so I'm not going to worry about putting in glue there I am going to go ahead and try to punch a little pull in both sides of that oh and I am getting rid of a lot of my punches too oops look at that I pulled that right up didn't I um I've just got too many I can't use them all and I've still got more to go through. I haven't went through all of them. I had Brooklyn to clean them all up yesterday. <laughs> she said, Nan, hey. I said, well, you wanted work. So you can clean all of these up. And so she used the wipes and cleaned them all up and polished them and everything and then she sent me a message last night and she said um Nene, would you go ahead and pay me instead of waiting till friday to pay me and i said well i guess i can but i thought you wanted to wait till friday she said well i did but i just looked and found something i want to buy now <laughs> so guess what Nene did yeah i did i went ahead and paid her uh now i'm just looking through here this is just some miscellaneous things that I have stuck in here and I was looking for something to go on the front I don't want to cover up all of my flowers there but I do want to put something on it so anyway I went ahead and paid her and uh, she was happy I reckon she got to buy something she money burns her pocket boy all right I don't have anything in there that I want to use all right, I've just pulled out a few things out of my stash. This is a piece that I stamped. That's a Tim Holtz piece. I'm just trying to find what what I want. Oh, I like that. I stamped this. This is a one of my stamps. Yeah, I kind of like that there. I don't want to do a lot to the front, and I'll probably stitch around all of mine too, and that'll give it a little bit extra. And I've got some of these. This is the freebie for today, and I did send out a an email or a newsletter, and it has this linked in it. But I had asked Betty to make us some large flowers so that when we're making the large tags and things, we can have a flower to go on that. So I love, love, love those. I wanted to show you guys that. So let's see if we can kind of layer up a few things here to make it make it look pretty. I think I'll go with that, but I'm going to cut this off about right there. I couldn't make up my mind today. I had two or three things that I wanted to do and I couldn't really make up my mind what I wanted to do the video on and I thought well why not just sit down and start crafting and do what you was going to do and then just turn the camera on if they like it okay and if they don't then they can they can look elsewhere I guess so I think I'm just going to put that on there 
and let's see I feel like I need something else okay I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down I feel like it needs something else but for now we're just gonna glue this and then I can always add something else when I start to put it in my journal if I want to may add some lace to it or something like that Sometimes I just, I can't get the feel of it until it, I start to put it in a journal. I am going to round these corners on here. I like the corners rounded on the little booklets. Makes them look a little bit more finished. And that you're not just using just pieces of scrap paper. Which we are, but we don't have to tell everybody, do we? Whoops. I'll trim that off a little bit right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and glue that down well. I don't want that to be a pocket or anything like that. Now let's see if we've got a label or something that would go up here. All right, what about that little piece of lace? This is just one of my little lace samplers, lace and fabric samplers. And I'm going to cut that out. Just trim this off. And I think I'll put that right there. I need to always remember to get this tool. I end up with so much glue on my fingers if I don't. Okay. And then I'm just going to turn this little piece around to the back side. Right, so maybe you can see that little piece of lace. It shows up better in person than it does on the camera. But I didn't want it to be too bold. And I think I'm just going to put a little tiny label on there. This is just where you can grab all of your little extra pieces out. And just add them here and there. Mm. Now I don't know if I want it on there or not. Maybe I don't want it on there. Maybe I want it down here. I think I'm just going to tuck it right under there. I don't really want it on my lace. Okay. So that's the front cover of that one. And like I said, I'm not going to do the inside of all of them, like put the paper in there. I'll put the paper in on one of them just to show you. But I'm not going to do the inside of all of them because I'm going to stitch around them first. Okay, that one is finished. Now let's do a different one. I'll grab this paper <clears throat> now this is a very thin paper but it'll still work um, let's see let's tear this off oh and we did get more of the corner punches in we got those in today so I'll tear that off about right there wow it's a thin paper but it doesn't tear easy Move these over a little bit. And I probably did not get that straight at all. But we're going to see. Okay. Now, we don't want it that wide, of course. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make it about that wide. Because you don't want it wider than your page. I usually try to include one of these little books in all of my journals. And it, it just has a few little note, it has a little notepad in it, and I put a few little pieces of ephemera inside it. Just something like that. It, it's not a big deal, but it just, I don't know, I like putting them in there. I like getting them in a journal. You can always take this out and take notes on them, and then transfer everything to your journal when you have time it's just another little fun project and you use up your scraps that's the good part we made the pocket as we went so that's that one i'm just going to glue my pocket down and i'll we'll decorate the front up a little bit now the next one will probably make it a little bit different I'll try to show you 
four or five different ways to make these. Now, this is a plain paper on the inside, but I'm not going to worry about that. They could always write in there if they wanted to, just journal inside it. Let's see, what do we have? <coughs> that could go on this one. That is just another piece that I stamped there. Let's tear that out and see what that looks like. Just one of the stamps that I have in my stash. And I just used some old book page to stamp on. And I think it, it makes it look almost like a little letter-like thing. A little letter-like thing. And then these I stamped using one of my stamps as well. And that's just on that writing paper that I like so well. Oops. There we go. So there's two pieces I think I might use. We just need one more little piece to kind of be the focal point here. Oh, I like the colors in that map. And that, like I said, it's from a Tim Holtz piece. I like the colors in that map. So I think I'll use that and then these little pieces. And I may add more as I get ready to put in in my journal. So we got an old map, and then we've got a ticket. Maybe that's where they went on the ship or something. Or went to a movie, I don't know. It says it meant one adult, so I don't know what it is. Okay, and then this could be the little scroll that maybe is the ship's manifest let's say <laughs> let's just pretend okay that's that and then i want this i think tucked up under there maybe do i Yeah, I think I want that like that. So I'm going to put some glue here and just tuck it up under a little bit. Make sure that they're all, you know, all the edges are different, that they're not coming together the same spots. Just doing a little cluster. Oh yeah, I like that. And I may even run a little piece of lace down it while I stitch, just a little little lace down through there. So I think I'm going to leave that one as is for now. So there's number two. Let's make a small one out of this. I love this paper. This is a Teresa Collins memorabilia. That's the only reason I know is because it's got it on the bottom right there. I think we had this a few years ago. It looks like Melina used it all but this little piece here, so this will be a good good piece to use. Let's make that little book about that big. I'm going to just use my scissors to cut this off because this paper is very, very thick. And then I think we'll just put a little pocket on either side and not, not carry it all the way across since this paper is so thick. So, and I just want my pockets just tall enough to put a few pieces of ephemera in, maybe some tickets or stamps or something like that. So they don't have to be very tall. Let's see, it's fine enough. Find my fold there, cut that off. So what are you guys doing today? I have, I didn't even craft yesterday. I worked on inventory and cleaned out things out of my stash and loaded those up. And thank you guys for buying those. You guys are so sweet. Seems like every time I put up something I turn around and it's sold and I, <laughs> I appreciate that so much right now sales everywhere I think are really down and um, you know it, 
it tends to, it discourages you a little bit when you own a business and your sales are not booming when you know that that's your livelihood but um you know i can always depend on you guys when when things start looking rough it's it's like you know that they are i don't even say anything and you know they are and you start ordering and i, I appreciate that But, you know, January and February is always kind of a, a lull month because, you know, everybody spends all their money at Christmas and all of the companies spend their money at Christmas. So even YouTube and all of that, you know, the analytics are down on YouTube because the companies are just not paying premiums like they did for the clicks. So, it's just the nature of the beast. You know, my dad used to say, because he always kind of worked for himself, and he used to say it's either feast or famine. <laughs> you know, you either you either starve to death or, <laughs> or you make a living. And then he would say, uh, one day you eat the chicken, and the next day you eat the feathers. <laughs> Because, you know, it would be, our, our lives would always be up and down. We never, you know, nothing was ever like a guaranteed income. It was always, always like that because that's the way he worked. So it, it, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't really realize what was going on. But, you know, my mom and dad did for sure. I, I understand now how much they worried about things like that. Uh, you don't understand it when you're a kid. You don't even you think, you know, money grows on trees and you don't think about, wow, it's taken a lot of money to, you know, buy groceries and pay bills and all of that. You just don't think about that when you're a kid. But now I understand. Totally, totally. All right. I think I like that little Tim Holtz photo on there but I would like to put something else on it or behind it and grab a little piece of this vellum out of this little notebook these are some that we had last year these little booklets that have vellum in them I haven't had any in a while I'm, I need to try to find more at a good price that's the problem. You can find them all day long, but finding them at a good price is the, is the problem. Because if I can't find them at a good price where I can share them with you guys, then it's not even worth it. I don't want to get them just for me. Okay, that might work, I think. Okay, I think I'll put that down, and then I may just put a label across there. I'm not... Uh, I'm not thinking of anything else right this minute. But that doesn't mean that when I start to put these in the journals that I won't come up with something else to put on them. But having them made ahead of time is the main thing. Now I use my Barely Art. And we do have a good supply of Barely Art right now. And so far, I haven't raised the prices because this batch that we just got in was still on the old price so until this batch is gone our prices won't go up i've made sure that that was okay with the manufacturer so until i can until i sell out of this which like i said we've got quite a few but until i sell out of this i'm not gonna not gonna raise my prices not unless they make me Okay, let's see. Um, what if we put reflect on there? Does it look like those guys are reflecting on something? Now, this month, we're not doing another journal. Like, you know, we did just journal January. We're not doing another journal, but... We are participating in the Rach and Bella Crafts. It's tips, tricks, and hacks. And they have a new designer for each day of this month. I think today Rachel starts it off. And then mine day is on the 6th. And I think Melina's day is on the 15th, I believe. So 
we will be presenting everybody's going to present different techniques and hacks and ways that you can use products that you have maybe in your stash to make beautiful ephemera that kind of thing so make sure to join us we're going to have lots of fun okay we may just make a black and white one what do you think this is just another scrap of paper because I think you're going to like what mine, and I don't know what everybody's is going to be on. Look, I'm just pulling all kinds of scraps over here. But I know what mine and Melina's is going to be on, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I, I can't give it away, but I think you're going to have fun with it like we are. I'll tell you this much. Mine's going to be 10 different hacks or tips of things that everybody has everybody in your house and it'll, i'll show you 10 different ways to use it for your journal make beautiful embellishments melina's is 15 different no 20 different tips to use what she has so it's going to be fun all right i may use that i don't know does that look too odd to use that with or maybe just that one and put something else here this is just a, a piece that I stamped as well so yeah we're gonna have some fun I think black and white and book pages always looks good together all right I may do that and then I've got this little cluster that I might just put right there what do you think about that? Okay. I think we're going to try it. Let me, I want to round the corners of this or cut them off at an angle or something. And then, of course, we got to ink it up. And then I've had some questions about our scoops. Uh, the B and, uh, the B and E. It's not B and E. The um, M and E scoops, they are, we put new scoops up every Monday or Melina does and she puts you know X amount I don't know I think she started out with maybe seven and now she's up to maybe 12 and a lot of people are saying something about you know they're missing it every time and so what she's going to try to do is each month or each week she's going to try to put it put them up at a different time that way hopefully you know the guys who work or maybe it's a different time zone or whatever you can still get in on them she's trying to alternate the time as much as she possibly can because you know we want everybody to have a chance at buying one if you want one it's the, it's a fun game it's a lot of fun and you get you know you get a, quite a bit in your little stash your little scoop so we are having fun with it and i know a lot of people must be having fun with it because they are selling out like hotcakes <laughs> but um, don't despair she's going to try to alternate times and things and you know maybe announce on her youtube things like that when they're going up so that maybe everybody will have a chance at uh, purchasing one if you want I like that and then I'm, I'll stitch around it so I don't think I'll put anything else on it right now now let's go ahead and put the paper on the inside of this one just since we are we have this one in hand and I don't think I'll put a pocket on the inside of this one for no other reason that I just don't want to okay I'm just gonna pull out some different papers this is just an old paper that actually it uh, it got wet it came from triple v vintage and this was back when we had our flood here <laughs> and it got wet so i lost the, some of the design but i kept it because i'm definitely going to use it i'm not going to throw it away so we're, we're just going to fold a few pieces that will go in here they don't have to all be the same they don't have to all be coffee dyed paper they can be anything i've got an edith holden page i put in there i've got 
one of those. I'll put a piece in there. I've got an old book page that has been taped up. It was so old and tearing that someone took the time to tape it up. And then these are the pages that come out of the front and the back of books. I always save those and use those. Most of the time they don't have any writing on them. So, lots of different things you can put in here. And like I said, you can do any combination or any size. You don't have to, they don't have to be a certain width. I can't remember where I got that. Those look like they're going to fit without any extra. Let's see if that's going to tear. No, actually, that feels like a good rag paper, so I don't think it's going to tear. So let's go ahead and tear off these little pieces. So anyway, if you're wanting a scoops, they'll go up Monday again. And I think she told me she was going to put them up at like 2 p.m. our time. I'm, I'm not sure about that, though. She'll tell you on her videos, or she'll announce it on the Facebook page or something. You'll know. She'll make sure that you know. That way you can maybe jump over there and grab one. I know there's some people that have tried every week, and so far they haven't haven't made it. But you know, we're we're just we're doing our best. We can't put up too many at once because, you know, we go through and pull all of these items and then she does a video on each one of them. And that takes about a, a little over a half a day just to do that. So we, uh, <laughs> we can't really do too many at once. Which she and Bethany are doing a great job at that, but, you know, that it, it keeps them very, very busy. All right, I think I will start out with the Edith Holden page. Then we'll just drop that little book page in there. Is that going to be too wide? Nope. And then maybe that page. Sorry, I'm off camera. And that page. That one. And then I will put this old book page in the middle. And what I like to do is just kind of even them up and I am going to have to trim those a little bit just so that they don't stick out and that's fine we'll do some trimming right here I'm going to use this trimmer and see if I can just trim them all at one time and not have to take them apart yeah that works okay this little piece just fell when I was looking for something else so guess what you can go in And I, that's usually enough. I don't put too many in there because you don't want it too full. You don't want it just stuffed to the gills. Oops. I'm going to get some of my long clips to clip this week. Just want it to hold everything, all the papers. And these are, I think, like three inch clips, maybe. Let's see. Oh, I think they're three and a half, actually. All right, let me grab my little journal tool. I'll move these up a little bit. This is our Ease journal tool. And I love, love, love it. I use it all the time. Now, as you can see, my holes on the end, if I went by this, would be too far out with this little bitty journal. But I'll show you how I adapt to it. Okay, I had to find my all. That was like an act of Congress. Okay, then I just kind of center it up because I know that center hole is right there. So I just kind of center it as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I punch through there. And then I just move it down to where I want that other hole on the end here. And I can see my holes here. So I know that I want it about right there so punch through there and then I just slide it to the other end and do the same thing 
since you can see these holes here it makes it a lot easier there we go and we do have more of those in stock so you can see my holes and they're just about perfect in the right place I think I'm gonna use some of this white this is twine and let me let's see if I can get it threaded this is a pretty thick twine now I want to tie a bow on the outside of this so I'm gonna start on the outside and go in if you want to tie a bow on the inside then you start on the inside so I'm going to go through the middle up to the top and then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom pull it back up and then I'm going to go back through that middle okay and then this thread that goes all the way down I'm just going to make sure that both of these tails are on opposite sides of that and then we're going to cut that now you could put a little charm on here if you wanted to I think I am just going to tie me a bow maybe maybe a couple of bows now I'm going to tie one bow there clip that little bit off and we have a little bow on the side and there is that now I can still I think stitch around this one if I can't that's fine no problem but that's how you'd put in your signatures or your signature I usually just put one signature on these because I don't put very many pages in there because if you're going to put it on the inside of your journal you don't want it to be you don't want it to be too thick all right so do you guys want to make some more or do you want me to add pages to these or what do you want to do i love that i love those i think we'll make one more just one and we may make it a little bit different so hang in there and let's see what we got here i think i will use this page this is from let me think Lynn Art Studios and this is a digital but I think it'll make a very pretty journal little mini journal and I guess you could call these accompanying journals mini journals whatever you want to call them but I do add them in to my big journals I like to put on like I put a belly band in and I like to tuck them behind the belly band so let's see I tell you what I can make a bigger mess on my desk in the shortest amount of time of anybody now this one's gonna be different I told you it was gonna be different didn't I so we're gonna fold that and then we're gonna fold these little sides up Well, I need to see how far I've got that folded. Fold that up. And that's just going to give us some side tucks. Okay. So it folds up like that. Make sure I've got it straight as I can. That's a nice size right there. And then we've got our little side tucks here. Now I'm going to go ahead and ink it because I did tear this and the white backing will show if I don't ink it up and I don't like that white showing okay then we can glue these down let's see do we want to put a little pull maybe maybe just a little one Now we can glue these sides down. So, got scraps? Make mini journals. Look at that. I love that. 
That's cute. All right, let's go ahead and let's see. What do we want to do to the front? I don't want to do a lot because I don't want to cover all of this up. So we may just put a label on there and leave it. I could bring that in from the side right there. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. It's just a little piece of vellum and it's like an old map of the, looks like, uh, looks like the ocean, some ocean. I don't know what ocean, but some ocean. And then maybe a little label or something over here that we can just, maybe that will halfway match. That may look weird to you, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know why. This is just a little stamp, postage stamp. I don't know why I like it, but I do. And sometimes you just have to go with what you like. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see. I need to put this down first. Right in there. Barely Arts. Put this down. This is just a scrap of that that I cut a little while ago. And then I thought we could Bring that little stamp right there. What do you think? I don't mind that. Okay, we're going to put it down. You know, if you put something down and it's not, you look at it later and you think, why in the world did I do that? That looks crazy. You can always cover it up with something. So, I'm not afraid to try things and put things down. Not a bit, as you know. Okay, yeah, I don't mind that. We don't mind it at all. All right, now I need a little label. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. The label that I had didn't really look right on it, so I'm gonna leave it for now. But that's just another. And we'll we'll decide if we wanna put something else on it when we start to put it in a journal. Okay guys, I think that is all I'm gonna do right this minute. Just wanted to Turn the camera on and let you guys see what's going on here today. What I was up to. I like those. So then I've got five books that I can put in journals that I'm making. Now, don't worry about if your little books match your journal completely. They don't have to. I'd put these in any of my journals. Um, if the person doesn't like it, they're just slid in there. They can always just take them out and use them in their purse or something just to make notes on, stuff like that. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And please hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.